Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Borderlands Weekly Video Podcast thingy on February 4th, Wednesday, day of all nerdy goodness and wonderment in the world. One of our 53 Christmases that we get being geeks every year. It's fantastic. I love it. All right, so a couple things. First off, I don't know if you guys can see, I've got my handy dandy rowdy jersey from our Greenville Road Warriors. Love those guys. Uh, this jersey was celebrating our military, so it was Military Appreciation Night. Had a ball, awesome people, go see a hockey game. Star Wars night was amazing, we were there, and there's a comic night coming up. Keep your eyes on their website, they've got it on the events page. Okay, a couple things. I've had guys asking me when I get in fun books, could I possibly put on the podcast just for giggles? So here you go. I'm going to do one this week. There's a lot of other cool stuff we got in, but I'm just going to do one just for fun. Giant Size X-Men number one. The book that launched Nightcrawler, Colossus, and everything. And one of you guys is already calling wanting to buy it. And you can't have it yet because it's on the podcast. That's crazy. Why would we do that? Why are you being so cruel? It's selfish, really. So, all right. Let's just go into stuff. World of Tanks. Rush. They actually did a board game for it or a card game for it. Very, very cool. And back in stock after, God, it must be a year out of print. Uh, the starter box for Flames of War. It's open fire. This is the cheapest way to get into a miniature game. It's crazy. It's 70 bucks, and there's a ton of stuff, as you can tell, inside here. Rules, miniatures, open fire is really, really a good deal. Um, what else? More of the Tantive Fours, which are really kind of hard to get uh, for the Star Wars X-Wing game. And I thought, oh yeah, Necrons. I forgot about them. So, last week we got in the Necron Codex, and we still have some of the Necron data cards for 40k. So make sure you come in and check those out. We ordered plenty. Uh, this week, Harlequins are gonna be out and they'll be available on Friday. Uh, there's this thing, it's kind of like that elephant in the room. It's a pink elephant or a white elephant or I don't know how you, oh yeah. The annual sale. It's just this Saturday, it's crazy. Everything's on sale. Everything in the whole store is on sale. Uh, we're going to have door busters that will be amazing. Got to be here early for that. So uh, come on out. The sale is from 11 to 7.30. There is some talk. I can't guarantee this. But check on Facebook. There is actually talk of us opening an hour early this year to try to help the crowds get through faster. Give another hour for you guys to shop. So check Facebook. We're going to make that determination. Talk to everybody. See how schedules work out. And we might just do that to make it easier on you guys. Um, what else? I guess that's it. Yeah, no more events. St. Baldrick's, March 15th. This thing has been growing on my face that you guys have been watching slowly encompass me. Um, Micah can throw up the link here to our St. Baldrick's page. Click on it. Guys, go donate. And if you don't donate to us, donate to somebody. Um, this is to fight children's cancer. It's an amazing cause. These guys do a wonderful job. Um, everybody involved, Richard and Robbie and everybody over at Saint, the St. Baldrick's you know, team that we have here in Greenville is putting this event together. Uh, it's over at Larkins on the River, thanks to them too. Uh, it, it's awesome. And if you've never been, it'll touch you. There are some wonderful kids that are there, and it's definitely a worthy cause. So, uh, all right. What else we got? Let's, see. Let's do graphic novels. No? Comics? All right, we'll do comics. Then we'll do graphic novels. All right, so this week... Star Wars 2. They're wanting you to think about Darth Vader 1, which comes out next month. So they put him on the thing. With the Wookiee. There might even be some variants for that. Uh, all new Captain America Fear Him, which is a, a separate series from regular Cap. I think that's like a two issue miniseries or something. Harley Quinn cover on Green Lantern. Unbeatable score girl number two. You tried to beat her with this, she won. You didn't, she came back. Imperium number one from Valiant. Harada. If Professor X really were a bad guy, he'd be Harada. He'd be awesome. It's good. And remember, Valiant is coming to South Carolina Comic Con. All right. Uh, Avengers. I'm trying to find the number. Avengers 41. Ant-Man 2. Oh, is this the uh, Black Vortex one? Yeah, sweet. So there's Black Vortex one. We've been handing out some promo cards for that. 
Action Comics with that Harley Quinn chick on the cover again. American Vampire in Space. He's definitely going to go hungry up there. <coughs> Detective Comics 39. Batman 66, 19. Man, you guys have been loving this book. This book's doing really well for us. Uh, East to West 17 by the great Jonathan Hickman. Nameless number one by Grant Morrison and Chris Burnham. Um, I'm going out to Comics Pro in a couple weeks, and there is a special black and white variant cover that I will be coming back with. So there you go. Saga 25. 25? 25 Saga? Here it is. Uh, Hawkeye 21. Operation Sin, is that right? Yes, Operation Sin. If you're enjoying Peggy Carter, this is actually a good book. I liked it. Return of the Living Deadpool. What? Flash Season Zero, number five. Talk about books that new people are liking. And what do you guys think about Flash and Arrow, by the way? Put in the comments. I think these shows are fantastic. I'm loving them. I'm actually kind of looking forward to the new Titan show they've released that Dick Grayson will be in it and uh, Oracle won't be called Oracle but she'll be in it that's yeah, going to be interesting I think it's going to be kind of cool uh, we got in some second prints of Deathstroke 1 for those of you that missed the amazingness that is Deathstroke Grayson number 7 <coughs> we just got in some cough drops for Micah uh, Superman 38 Hellboy and the BPRD in 1952, number three. It's a mouthful. Spawn 250. And it's it's a monster of a book. That's, that's a big book. Go Todd. Longest running image comic, I think, because Savage Dragon just passed 200. So I'd say Spawn, Spawn has got to have more issues out, I guess. Yeah. Witches is out from the wonderful Scott Snyder that does Batman. And when we stack these up, we put one of my favorite books. Uh, I don't know how with Brubaker, Epting, and Burt Weiser you could do a bad book, but Velvet is amazing and one of my favorite books. And I say this every time it comes out. If Miss Moneypenny was a badass, that's, that's who this character would be. It's really awesome. It's a good book. All right, graphic novels. Pokemon. I mean, honestly, you can't catch them all. The Disney comic, good, really, for 20 bucks? All right, so you look, look at the size of this thing. It is the Disney Comics Treasury, 800 pages for a whopping $20. That might be the best value for reading in the store. Star Trek, Carlin Ellison's City on the Edge of Forever. It is adapting the original script that Harlan Ellison wrote for Star Trek, which wasn't what they actually shot. Uh, the Complete Elf Quest Volume 2. Also 25 bucks and huge. A lot of these dark, if you haven't looked into these Dark Horse books, some of these semi archival books they're doing are amazing. The Usagi one's really good. Um, they do a lot for Aliens and Predator. They've done all those in these type of books. They've even done some for the Star Wars. A few of those are still around while they're still available. Uh, really, really good stuff. The Fall of Cthulhu Omnibus. It's in full color on glossy paper. If I drop it, it'll probably knock all of these toys down. I started to realize the error in my ways. Teen Titans graphic novel number five. Spider-Man 2099 number three. Which, by the way, the 2099 world is in Secret Wars and the Battle World, if you haven't caught that yet. Batman Unhinged. Number four, Inhumanity, with Karnak. I like him. He's kind of cool. He can break anything. What a wonderful power. And, ta-ta, Earth One, Volume Three, by Michael Straczynski. If you haven't been reading these, these are all good. The Batman one was good. The Titans one was good. The Superman's have been amazing. Um, all right, so, went through some graphic novels. What else we got, guys? Um, Harley Quinn statue. Got some My Little Pony pops, including Discord. We've had these, but we got them back in, some of the Despicable Me's. We've got the Fire Alarm Minion. Who doesn't like that? And who doesn't like a Minion wearing a coconut bra? So there you go. And we have the Spider-Man gelatin mold. Everybody wants a Spider-Man head to eat at their birthday party if it's a Marvel Zombies birthday party. Put some fruit in there. Good and disgusting. 
be awesome. I think you'll like it. Marvel Selects back in. We got Cyclops, we got Thing, Spider something. She's Spider Lady. She's I'm looking and I I can't Arachne. Arach Arachne. There's a chick in a like a venom suit over there and I can't say her name. So book on tape. They're really not books on tape. They're really more like audio plays with sound effects and cool stuff like that. We got in Guardians of the Galaxy, Iron Man, and Avengers. Those are really cool. They've even done a Death of Captain America. We're starting to carry patches, guys. We've got in our first run of them. I want you guys to look at them, see if you like them. They're heat applicable. They can be glued. Um, so look at them, see what you think, give us some feedback. Bottle openers. We got in the uh, Batman 66 Batmobile 3D Mass Effect model. For those of us that like Godzilla, and isn't that everyone? We got in the Mini Mates Godzillas. We got in the Alien bottle opener. Some of the new DC Direct figures that are really cool. There was Aquaman, Ocean Master, Mera, and Black Manta. Uh, those are all great. Got in the Red Lantern here. Who doesn't want a Michelangelo pizza cutter? All right. All right. So we went over to South Carolina Comic Con, March 21, 22. And I have a guest announcement. I don't know if you guys follow a lot of cosplayers. You know, we already have Cali Cosplay. We're actually adding Tony Darling. Uh, this will be fantastic to have her there. Great gal. Going to be doing some costume workshop stuff, helping out with the costume contest, and uh, just being awesome. So there you go. It's pretty awesome. I like that. And uh, really, guys, check the website. We're adding guests every single day and uh, still potentially working on some big guests. So you guys stay tuned. We're never going to stop trying to make this show better. Uh, the commercial will start airing for the con. That will be probably in the next week, so check CW for that. And uh, if you've never seen a flying stormtrooper, you will. Crazy, I know. Uh, okay, so St. Baldrick's, March 15th, South Carolina Comic Con, 21st and 22nd. Uh, I'll be out at Comics Pro in about two weeks, so I'll be bringing back all kinds of juicy tidbits and stuff that'll get announced there. You'll see some of it online, but we'll announce it here too. Uh, for those of you that don't read all the comic websites, lots of toys, lots of comics, lots of games. Yeah, I think we went over everything. SouthCarolinaComicCon.com, Borderlands.us, find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at 1434 Lawrence Road or buzz us at 2353488. Thank your boss again for allowing you to waste all of this time on his dollar. You guys are awesome. Have a great one. Thanks.